In observance of the World Day Against Human Trafficking, several government agencies and organizations have collaborated to organize an awareness program. Now, this program, led by the Ministry of Social Justice and Reintegration in Toronto State, aims to heighten public understanding and intensify efforts to combat the grave crime of human trafficking. Now, key partners, including the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, the State Task Force, the Ministry of Women's Affairs and Child Development, and the Network Against Child Trafficking, Labor and Abuse were in presence. Our correspondent Jude Nuhu Gundali reports. Toronto State is grappling with the Western crisis of human trafficking and gender-based violence. Reports indicate that youth have been exploited for labor, sexual purposes, and even organ harvesting. This year's World Day Against Human Trafficking has the theme, Leave No Child Behind in the Fight Against Human Trafficking. To mark the occasion, the Ministry of Social Justice and Reintegration organized a road walk from Sani Abacha Secretariat Junction to the Jalingo Main Motor Park. In her address, Commissioner for the Ministry of Social Justice and Reintegration, Dr. Felista Irarima Mosa, emphasized the government's unwavering commitment to eradicating human trafficking, which has had a profound impact across several local governments in the state. Under the leadership of Dr. Abu Kefas, our working governor, I am committed to the fight against human trafficking in Taraba State. As a government, we recognize that trafficking in persons is a gross violation of human rights that dehumanizes its victims and destroys their future and that of our society. It is in, on record that Taraba State has tragically become a center for human trafficking. Our youth are being exploited daily for labor, sexual purposes, and even organ harvesting at an alarming rate. As a government, we are unwavering in our determination to combat this evil practice through law enforcement awareness creation and victim-centered interventions. The chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association's Toronto State Chapter, Martin Smokem, cautioned the public about the severe consequences of human trafficking. He reassured the public that the government would take decisive action against perpetrators. Similarly, Mrs. Sarah Eby, the coordinator of NAPTIP's Northeast Zone, warned parents on the risk of entrusting their children to unknown individuals, including the dangers of organ harvesting, slavery, and involvement in antisocial activities. This is one of the cardinal issues that the NBA stand out to partner with the uh, issue of human trafficking. You know, it's a criminal offense. And of course, since we are talking about something that is criminal, that is our jurisdiction. So the program is, uh, is nice, it's good, and it's strategically placed because the motor park is one of the places that has a significant role in dealing with issues of this nature. Children are vulnerable. They are most exploited. Advantage is taken of children who have come from poor settings, from widows, those who are orphans. And sometimes even the wealthy are not left out. You see the level of kidnapping law. You see another dimension of trafficking. By observing the World Day Against Human Trafficking, Toronto State is demonstrating its resolute commitment to eradicating this grave crime. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.